Welcome to the Erin and Krista Show. I'm Erin. And I'm Krista. Today, we are going to do this big dumb idiot's bridal makeup trial oh, for her rude. wedding in May. Hi, how are hello. you today? Hello. Great, I'm so excited. When's the wedding? Oh, the wedding is coming soon. So, what is the general theme? Mm -hmm. I don't... Ah, 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 and never tell your look. makeup artist that you don't want to look like a clown. Seriously, my goal is never to make anybody look like a clown or a whore. You're gonna make me look like a whore clown! Or a whore I clown. Mean, or a whore clown. Unless you ask for that specifically. Unless you're going to the town of whore clowns. We're going to whore clown town! Whore clown whores make the most whore. money because they have extra balls to honk. <laughs> Everybody loves a clown for. You know what? I'm just gonna start bringing like white grease paint. I'm gonna juggle. <laughs> You're gonna juggle. <laughs> or I'm just gonna bring a parade of hookers with me. Um. So, well, how do you typically wear your makeup? Are you on my face? So I want something so glamorous, like a vintagey Art Deco feel. Okay. Lashes. Little. My hair will be like this, but with fake hair okay. and more. Bigger. So we're gonna do a little glam, a little bit of shimmer on the lid into kind of a blended smoky on the outer corner, not a traditional smoky, kind of like what I have going on. I need some toothpicks or like some clamps. Anyway, so this is gonna be a struggle with her watery eye, but it's also gonna be what? a good learning experience for everybody, I think, because My in real life, over a your eyes water. water. Bucket. <laughs> and in real life, brides cry. Like and subscribe, comment below. We are on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all as the Erin and Krista Show. Twitter, it's Erin and Krista. If you have any questions, we will always put links to the products we're using below. All right, we're gonna get this. I have my glasses on, my makeup glasses. We're gonna do Erin's makeup now. Hopefully she can stay still. It's not gonna happen. Erin already has on her foundation and her eyebrows, just to make this a little bit quicker. I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as her eyeshadow primer because it's meant to be crease proof. I'm using a Morphe concealer brush, just a flat synthetic brush to place it on. I'm going to go all the way from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. And this is just going to help her eyeshadow stay in place, not crease, and it's also going to keep the pigment like you see it on the palette or in the pot instead of shearing out over the skin. Okay, you want to make sure that you have a pretty even consistency throughout the eye so that it's not thicker than you are um, and thin in other places or it will grab pigment just that same way. We're going to use the Tartlet palette. It's a lot of mattes and from browns to plumps because she wants more of a purpley eye. And I'm going to use a, this is a Morphe brush, it's pretty fluffy. And I'm going to use it as a transition shade and I'm going to use this um, caregiver which is almost this lavender tone. And I'm gonna concentrate that on the outer corner and up into the crease area. And you just kinda of keep it in the V formation. Anytime you put your brush into a shadow, make sure you tap it so that it um, doesn't put down too much product. Just like if you were painting a wall, you wouldn't stick your brush into a bucket set on the wall. You always get the excess off. All right, so we have that transition shade in so that there's a really good gradation of color and there's no harsh lines. All right, so this is Erin's Morphe brush, a little bit fluffier. Um, between natural and synthetic, it's a fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this to use a step in shade and I'm gonna use this color called Best Friend. Aww. It's a, again, in that plummy family matte. I'm gonna keep all the um, crease shades and all the transition shades matte and then only this part of the lid will have a little bit of a shimmer to it because you don't want to use a frosty crease shaded. It just kind of defeats the purpose of the crease. So we're going to use that closer inward and then we have the transition shade, but still doing that V formation. And what I'd like to do first is just place the shadow where I want it to be and then go back and blend it all out. So then I'm going to take the brush and I'm actually going to get all the product off by um, put it back and forth a couple times on a towel so it has no makeup on it and then I'm going to go back and blend that. That's the biggest key to all of this is just blending the hell out of it all. I'm going to go back one more time with that caregiver shade, that lighter lavender color. I'm outside. So 
assim e tal. And you always want to pretend that there is an invisible line from the outer corner of the eye to the brow and make sure that nothing falls below that area or it's going to make the eyes look downturn. No! Some people use tape, I've noticed lately. They don't put scotch tape on people. Don't use scotch tape. Use a sponge with some makeup remover or, you know, a card or something, but scotch tape, get it. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this color called Bombshell, which is the darkest of the plums. Bombshell. And I'm gonna use it on, this is a MAC 217. It's a crease brush, but it's a little denser and smaller than the Morphe ones we were using. So with a color like this, you wanna be extremely light-handed at first, because this is where a disaster's gonna occur. So I'm actually gonna push this into the pocket, and you'll know where that pocket is, because the brush easily goes behind the eyeball. the client's eyeball shoots out. Yeah. So this is not blended right now. This is just placed where I want it, and then I'll go back and blend it out. Don't yeah. make me look like a clown. You're not done. We're going to hot clown town. You gotta look real crazy before you look real good with makeup. What's the number one bridal look people ask for? Romantic is a term I get a lot, but it's just soft. A lot of pinky tones. Um, that, or I get a lot of pictures of the Kardashians. And that makeup is not soft. No. It's very layered. It's very contoured. Heavy. It's very heavy. And then that goes back to cream contouring. Well, cream contouring but is awesome. If you want that look, that's fine. But right. But it's it's not light. But a lot of times, you know, shimmery eye, like, you know, lashes. Just soft. Face shape and eye shape. This is where shape matters. Because the eye I'm doing on her right now works with her eye because you can see a lot of her lid. She's got nice big eyes, almost I would say almond shaped. So when you do have a client that's either older and so they have a lot of um, a hooded thing happening or that's just naturally their eye, you want to kind of do their eye as if it were open. So again, we're just going back and blending this darker color. And brides to be have to also remember that when a makeup artist does your makeup, they're doing it for your photos. Right. So bear with that. Like, don't say you don't want to look a clown. The color of the cheeks and the color of the um, the bronzer and all that you do, it has to be amped up a little or you'll lose it all. You'll just get washed out by that heavy flash. And also in weddings, typically, so now I'm just working backwards with the transition shades I was using before to give it a little bit more depth. This beauty blender I'm using, by the way, is the Real Technique Beauty Real Technique Beauty Blender, and it's my absolute favorite one because this edge is really nice to clean up and everything, but this flat end is really awesome to pat in concealer and bronzer, or concealer and contour. It's my favorite. And I've already gotten it wet and wrung it out a bunch of times, so it's pretty fluffy. No Look at now you're calm. Or snowman. All right, so I'm gonna go back a little bit, just a very light-handedly with that um, MAC color, because I really want that um, yeah. color. The MAC Pro Longwear the Concealer. Oh. Because I really want that um, lid color to grab and I want it to be very pronounced. So we're going to use this Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette, which is very beautiful. I love it. And we're going to use this color for her. Um, eyelid area and that is called doesn't say it just says that this is called the Lolita we're going to use this Morphe brush it's a flat um, eyeshadow brush because that's going to grab in place a ton of shadow and so we're going to pat that area we're going to pat that on we're gonna, um, what if I fall in a large pool body of water during my wedding <laughs> you never know what's going to happen and we're bringing it towards that crease color so that it's nice and blended into one another. Any color you put in, you want to blend one color into the other and the other color into that <gasps> one. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what just happened? The earth move. I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sun coming, coming down, tumbling down. down. Okay. <laughs> um, so now I'm just gonna go over everything with that little lavender color to blend. What are you doing? Can I talk about something? Remember last night when we were doing karaoke and we did Seasons of Love and it, everybody Class, like meeting we were, one rogue lady class. It was like four. But we were like into it. I know. We were into a lot of songs. We got into that one. 
We got into um, the Total Eclipse of the Heart. Oh, yeah. We got into <laughs> Journey. Cher. Oh, my God. Cow. Like down, back down. Everybody will find a way. I take back the words that I love you and you today. If I can reach the stars, I give them all to you. Let me love me, love me, like you used to do. Tow. <laughs> Tow. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm going to use, this is the Naked Urban Decay Basics. And I'm using Venus for her highlighter at her request. That's my favorite. It's the one she likes. And a bride on her wedding day. I get what I want. You do what they tell you. All right, so we're gonna take this color, Venus. And we're gonna just pat it into her crease. Oh, I mean, Venus. nope, her brow. So we're gonna blend this color down into the crease area again. Did you see that? No. He just, Pig, who was an orange Pomeranian, just came up and slapped me. You got a Grinch slap. <laughs> Do you want to sit on my lap? Oh, he wants to get in my lap. Oh, read off like the bride. I let the bride do whatever she wants. So just to review, this is the Tarte Let Pot Palette by Tarte. The colors we're using for the, con or the transition shade is Caregiver. Then we're moving into Best Friend and then bombshell, so it's going from lighter to darker the closer you get to the eye. So because I've just kind of blended everything out, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the bombshell to give it more depth. I'm so fancy, you already know. I'm in the fast lane from LA to Tokyo. Karen. Um, and a detail brush. I'm going to actually put a little bit of black on it. So I'm gonna use the Fashionista color from the Tartlet palette right here. And this is just a very small amount. And I'm gonna tap that right into this back part of the eye. Into my Very ball. lightly. And then a little bit, so basically almost like a little corner of it. And when you use a good primer, like, you know, a, what's a good one? The Shadow Insurance by Too Faced or the Potion Primer by Urban Decay, any of those, you can blend and move the shadow around as much as you want. It's not just going to magically come off. So the shadow's in place. Now we're going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to use the Tartiest by Tarte. It is a clay paint liner. I like it because it's like a liquid, however, it's between a liquid and a gel with a consistency. And if somebody does water a lot, it doesn't run as fast as other ones. A silicone liner brush by Real Techniques, and this is nice because clearly, because it's a silicone liner brush, it's not going to get wayward bristles, and you can get real good definition with it. Um, and that's it. That's it. I like it. This is cool because it has this oval shape, so you can put put the product on that oval area, and then use that as your palette. So her liner's on, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this, that black color from the Tartlet palette that I used in the inner crease, and I'm putting it on a Morphe Badger hair brush that's angled, and I'm just gonna have her look up and over there. I'm gonna just put it right in the corner just to connect that bottom, or just connect that outer wing to the bottom because it gives it a little bit more something that I enjoy there. And I use shadow and not eyeliner because then that way it won't run if her eyes water. If her eyes water, it'll just kind of go away. We're going to now go into the concealer and then the contour of her face and then we'll end on lashes and we're done. So this is Erin's concealer that she enjoys. It's the NYX HD Concealer in... White as a ghost. In CW1. So very light. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna sweep it under her eye and kind of feather it out into her cheekbone area. This is because we're gonna use it a little bit as a contour. Wash it. Wash it. 
So I'm going to set her under eye using the Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever. Anastasia. Anastasia. A Beverly Hill Contour Kit with the banana powder. This is just going to help that under eye set without getting all creased. Okay, a Morphe contour brush. And we're going to use the Anastasia, this middle one, which is... And we're going to cut her face. Cut it. She's going to cut a bitch. Um, so we're going to go underneath her cheekbone area and then to her temple and her forehead and then down through here. Like a Numbra. Trace. Three. Claw. And when you're doing bridal, you have to contour a little bit heavier than you would naturally. Because you don't want them to be washed out. We contoured that area. Now we're going to go back with a little bit of bloosh on this weirdo. So the cashew. I love that brush. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Okay, so the blush that we're going to use is, um, it's discontinued, however, it is just a very pretty dusty rose blush with a little bit of a sparkle in it. It's by a company called Mirabella, and you're going to go smile for me. We're going to go from the outside apple over cheek, and then dust off the excess and kind of blend it into the hairline. I don't like to go from here over, because then it does look like a what? A clown. A clown! Yay! And then I like to hit it with the beauty blender once or twice just to make sure it's not too heavy. Becca's highlighter in opal. opal. So it's a very pretty, beautiful highlighter. And I actually like to apply highlighter with a fan brush. And it's actually made to go right along that cheekbone. I'm going to start on the lashes and I always like to prep the lashes, the natural lashes, by using mascara before I put the false ones on. It helps the false lashes grab onto the natural lash so you don't have two bands of lashes happening. I'm going to use Erin's favorite, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, which is a very, very volumizing mascara. I like to use on most of my brides the Demi Wispies by Ardell and the reason is is I like that they're kind of wispy. Do so you want to take them off the card by using a tweezer if you can just because you don't want it to bend because then they're going to curl and get weird. Okay and then what you do is, I'm going to have you close for me, is you're going to measure the lash. Sometimes the lashes kind of come pretty wide and sometimes they come wider than the person's eye is. So this actually fits Erin's eye perfect, so we don't have to trim it at all. This is my favorite eyelash glue. It's called Duo. I use the clear. It goes on white and it dries clear. Because I squeeze a little bit to come, just so a bead comes to the top, so you want to go nice and slow. And I just run it over the rim of the lash. And that's, you don't need a ton. Just so the whole band gets some glue. And then I want to, I kind of concentrate, make sure I have a little bit extra on the corners because that's where they're going to kick up. So again, you kind of have to lift the lid up and push that lash right underneath into the lash line. You can take, if you're not super steady handed, you can take the butt of your tweezers and push it into that area that you want it. That's actually what I do. And then I just kind of push it all the way around just to make sure it's going to stay. And then I'm going to have you open up. And so it's easy, it's natural for them to be stuck a couple places. And then I go through and I pinch the natural lash into the false lash. And that's what that mascara helps us do. And I'll also put a coat of mascara on just to blend them even more. Look down. So we're going to go back with a little bit of mascara to seal the natural lash down for me into the false lash. All right, so the last thing we're going to do, because this is Erin's favorite part of the show, is spraying the crap out of her with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. It's a dewy finish makeup setting spray. And Erin, as she's self-proclaimed dusty, loves it. 
Okay, so you're gonna put your own. Feel delightful. So that's it for me. trial is all done. How do you feel? Wonderful, beautiful. Do you love it? Yes. Do you want to change anything? My lips, because I did that myself and I don't really know if this is the color. Well, that's why you <laughs> do a trial though. So thanks for watching. We hope you learned some stuff. Like and subscribe. Comment below. Bye, Bye friends! friends. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye friends! friends. <laughs> Standing on the corner with giant shoes, maybe a big hat and a bottle of booze. Everybody loves our clown for.